tutorial we're looking at doing a multiple image and looking at using this high key image here in particular we're going to start with the marquee tool which is this one here obviously you can change it to a circle or a single row if you want to but we're going to go with the marquee tool which is rectangular then we're going to look at selecting an area such as the eye there we are and then you're going to press Control and C, which copies it, and then Control and B, which pastes it. And then when we go back to the Move tool, it will enable us to move it away. As you can see over here, we've already made another layer with this area on. Um, it just gives you the opportunity to move things around, but keeping the background exactly the same. Using um, Control and T, you can transform it, and holding Shift down, you can change the size without skewing it. I'm going to make it a bit bigger and move it across. Now, you can't really see on here, you can't really see the edge. So to make that clearer, you can go to the FX tool down the bottom, and then go to Drop Shadow. And then we can look at adding a bit of a shadow around the eye and then pressing OK. Remember to go back to your background layer before you select another area. So the next area I'm going to select is going to be part of the mouth and the nose. Control and C, Control and V, which will then copy the area. And then Control and T to change the size of this area. There we go. Press enter once you're happy. Now, I don't have to go through the whole point of putting another drop shadow in. I can just copy this layer style here. So right click on the layer and then copy layer style and then paste. And that will give me exactly the same effect which is on the top one there. If I go back to the select tool, I can then look at selecting another area. So I'm going to select this area here. Control and C, Control and V. And I'm making sure that I'm on that background layer so that when I'm copying, it copies the right area. So there we go. That's my next section done. I'm going to make that a bit bizarre and bring it down as well. There we are. So it will be looking quite odd at the moment. Obviously, paste my layer styles here, and then it gives me that composition. Now, you can leave the background in if you want, or you can take it away, which will just give you the um, collage selection. So it's up to you how you wish for it to be at the end. Just delete that layer if you don't want that anymore. I think this looks quite interesting at the moment. Um, and obviously, with these layers, you can do different things. So if you wanted to, you could put a photo filter on it. So I can add maybe a cooling filter. So you have kind of a blue tone to it or a red tone. Um, or you can just keep it black and white as it was in the first place. Thank you for listening.